Well, John Christine, Metro Police say with more kids at home during the holidays, parents need to make sure their guns are secured. So far this year, Metro Police have responded to three incidents of accidental shootings involving children. Unload it, lock it up, make sure that it is not accessible to kids. Metro Police say it over and over, but they hope hearing it from parents will strike a chord. I don't call them accidents because they're preventable. Dar and Jacob Moeller's daughter Brooklyn went to a friend's house after school one day in 2013. They asked their daughter everything. Who was she hanging out with? Did she wear a seatbelt? And uh, that was the only question we never asked is if there was any unsecured firearms in the house. Brooklyn's friend showed off her dad's gun left in the kitchen accidentally hitting the 13 year old and killing her. I unfortunately was the first person there because I was coming to pick her up. Brooklyn was the middle child, a competitive gymnast, honor roll student. She'd bring home all these stray animals and try to find homes for them. I miss that. <laughs> she someday wanted to become a teacher. Her life was cut too short. Um, I would have loved to have seen her grow up and see what she would have accomplished because she was that amazing. For a while, her parents admit they were angry. Why is my daughter in a body bag and nobody's accountable for her death? It was completely, un I was, it was unbelievable and I was very angry and so I had to turn my anger into something positive. The Mullers now sharing their story in hopes gun owners will lock up their firearms and parents will ask the right questions. It is a, it's a nightmare. Um, what we do, it's never going to bring our daughter back. Hopefully we can prevent another family from ever, ever living this nightmare. And now in all three of this year's incidents, Metro Police say the parents who were also the gun owners were arrested and charged with child neglect. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.